Hello everyone. So this is the third video of co-charting primer series. In the last video, we learned how to put imbalance charts, which also means the order flow charts. We also learned how to put the bar statistics and the OI profiles, etc. So in this video, today we will learn about the order flow settings. So friends, if you click here, you will see all settings of go charting here. So we will make a dedicated video where we will explain all these settings. But today in this video, we are going to discuss only for the order flow settings. So if we click on the order flow, we can see all these settings. So first setting is about the tick manager. So if you see the tick manager here, we have auto mode and it is off. So suppose I click on auto mode as on. So this block setting will go right and you can see the order flow size have changed according to the auto mode now if i switch off the auto mode i have an option to put a value here so suppose i put a value at 600 now you see the blocks have increased more and if i put the value at 6 you can see the blocks have reduced a lot their size is so small that you cannot even read them right so you have to zoom in a lot and it will consume lots of your space so basically what you have to do, you should not put the value very high as well as also you should not put the value very low. So there should be a middle ground. So first let's understand the logic behind this number. The block size is basically the price range you are getting in a particular block. So suppose I put a value 100 here. Now you see what is the block size you are getting. The block size is 5. How you are getting 5 because you have put a value 100 and for that it will be multiplied by 0 0.05 and the value you will get as 5. So the block size is 5. Now what, what does that mean? So suppose if you see here, what is the value of the Nifty? It is 18,820 around. And you put the cursor here. So it is 18,815 approximate. 18,815 to 18,820. So this comes to 5. So if you put a value 100 here, you will get a block size of 5 because it is multiplied by 0 0.05. Now the question comes, what should we put here? Should we put it in auto mode or we put some value here? So for that, we have made a very good video. Let me show you that video in our platform. Okay, so you go to our Go Charting YouTube channel and you can find that video here downside. How to choose tick size for your order flow chart. So please watch this video and you will be able to understand how to choose the correct tick size for your chart. I also want to tell you that please watch our playlist. In our playlist, we have arranged everything in a decent way. And you can see this is Go Charting Primer Series in English. These are our updates. And if you click on this arrow, you will be able to see all our playlists. So here we have option made easy series trading and executions. Then these are very important playlists like order flow, market profile, volume profile. So all these playlists, if you click on the home page, you will get on the front order flow market profile, all these playlists. So please visit these playlists to learn. So now let us go back to our charts. Now let's go to the format volume. So what is the format volume? So suppose, let me close it first. Now let me show you something here. Suppose this is the volume, right? Here the volume is 196.25k. Now here it is 90.95k and all those things. So these are very heavy volumes. But suppose if I tell you the volume is 10, 15, 13, it will be very easy for you to judge where the volume is higher, right? And friend, let me tell you one more thing. The absolute value of the volume doesn't mean anything. It's always the relatives. So if it is 196.25K, it is bigger than the value here, which is 53.75K, right? So if I give you only this value, 196.25K, and, and if I ask you if the value is bigger or lower, you will not be able to answer. But if I give you some benchmark, so suppose you are getting here the volume as 22.35K, 41K, 39K, 48K, and suddenly you are getting 127K. So this is a bigger volume relative to these volumes, right? And this 196.25K, it is even bigger. So we are always interested in the relative volume. So now if we want to read it very easily, what we will do, we'll go to the format volume setting. We will keep it on and we can put some value here. Suppose I put at 500. So you are getting the value as 392, 234. If I put it 5000, the values get 
even smaller but they are easy to read right so it is always the relative value so you can use this format volume also you can use it by the lot size suppose nifty is having a lot size of 50 you can put 50 in case of nifty so accordingly you will get the value based on the lot sizes so it is your choice either you want to put it in based on lot size or you can put a bigger value so it basically helps you to read the value in easier way so here we have a power trade scanner and if you switch it on you have to put here two values that is total volume and time interval so to gauge the real volume first of all you need to make sure that the format volume is off okay so you will be able to see the correct volume so that is one thing now we are getting this much of volume in five minutes you see for each candle of five minutes we are getting this volume this volume this volume so which volume is higher you can easily understand that this volume is relatively higher than the previous candles okay so now you have to understand what is the average volume so if we make a guess the average volume in these candle will come around 50 to 60 thousand all right it's an educated guess friends there is no rocket science so at any point of time if i am getting volume above 60 70 thousand in a five minute candle then i can say that the volume has increased so how will i identify it how will i get a indication for that i have a power trade scanner here i have to put two values that is total volume and the time interval in seconds okay so let me explain it a more detailed way now we are getting these volume in a five minute candle but here we have to put time in second and the total volume so suppose we are getting 50,000 volume in five minutes. Okay. So we need to make a calculation here. So in this case, we are getting, suppose we are getting 60,000 volumes, 60,000 volume in five minutes. So if I divide it by five, so this will be the volume I am getting in one minute. Now, I can also say that this is the volume I am getting in 60 seconds, right? So if I divide it by 60, so this is the volume I am getting per second. If I want to see how much volume I am getting in 10 seconds, I have to multiply by 10. Okay. So this is the volume I am getting in 10 seconds. So for that, I have to put here as 2000 and i have to put time interval as 10 seconds and click on the apply power trades so in the live market you will start getting here dark circles which will indicate you the big volumes so i hope i could explain you about this order flow settings we will make a dedicated video where we will be explaining all the settings in one go thank you guys